IBRT Theory Grade 10, Module 2.2, Part D, Output Devices. Monitor. Your monitor is the most used um, output device. The technologies that are used is the LCD technology, which is a liquid crystal display. Um, the LED technology, which is light emitting diode, is also used. But actually, in your LCD monitor, there is often an LED or LEDs that is that are used behind the screen to make the screen brighter. And LCD monitors are very low power; that they do they consume very little. That's why they are used in laptops, and they are flat, which means that they use far less space than the old CRT monitors used to use. And monitors are classified according to the size of the screen, their resolution response time type um, the connection type the contrast ratio and the technology used so we're going to discuss these things in the following slides the monitor size it is measured diagonally like the arrow shows on the picture so a typical size would be 19 inch it is measured in inches a typical laptop size would be 15.6 inches and wide screens have become standard. The old format um, of screens, the old ratio used to be 4 to 3, which would be the width to the height. But these days it's changed. Um, the ratio has become um, much wider to adapt to our vision. The resolution is the number of pixels or the dots that are used to form the picture on the screen. The number of pixels are measured horizontally and vertically, and a, an example of a typical size would be, or typical number of, of pixels or resolution would be 1920 across by 1080 um, vertically. And if you look at a monitor, it will typically say SVGA, WXVGA, XGA, WX, and all of these different um, resolutions with a GA on the end, these all refer to resolution. So when you're buying a monitor, that is what you look for. You look for a high, high resolution, which will give you a much nicer picture. And at the bottom, you've got two pictures. You can see that the resolution of the picture on the right is very small and the picture becomes pixelated where we can see the little blocks in the picture and that looks horrible. Monitor response time is how long it takes to change the color of a single pixel on the screen. And um, it is measured in milliseconds. And if you have a slow response time, then especially if you're watching sports or if you're playing games on your screen, the object will look blurred. A faster response time, which is a smaller amount of milliseconds, will mean that you get a clear picture all the time, even though the picture is changing um, as in a game or in sports. The monitor contrast ratio refers to the ratio between the darkest dark black on the picture and the brightest white. An example would be a thousand to one. And the larger the ratio, the better, because the clearer your picture will be. And in the example, we have a conventional contrast ratio, which gives you a semi-nice picture, and a mega or high contrast ratio, which gives you a much prettier picture. Monitor connectors come in different types, and there are more types than what I've listed here. The VGA is your old type of cable, the same as we have in the computer lab. DVI are very good for high definition video. And then HDMI is also good for a high definition image. It also carries the sound signal, which is useful. You do not need a, sec a separate cable to carry the sound. And these are used in modern computers and TVs or projectors. Data projectors are very common. Um, there are different technologies, again, LCD, DCP, RGB is the old technology and LED. And these days you also get a very, very small pro projector like the picture on the right where the projector is almost as small as a, the smartphone. And this gives you 
a small picture which is good to use in a small darkened room and allows you to give um, maybe a group of five six people a nice picture to look at um, the different kinds of printers we're going to look at three different kinds the laser printer it works by melting toner onto the paper it's great for general purpose printing it's often used in businesses the price of a laser printer is quite expensive, but in the long run, it's actually cheaper to run per page than an inkjet printer, which is more commonly used in homes. It is also much faster than an inkjet printer. The inkjet printer is probably the type of printer you have at home. You'll notice the little cartridges on the picture, um, which you'll recognize. The way it works is it sprays little dots of ink onto the paper. It's much slower than the laser. It's also actually more expensive to run, although you don't think so. But when you're buying ink, the ink cartridges only last for a very small number of pages. Um, so per page, it costs a lot more. The photo quality of an inkjet printer is very good. And they are also used to print posters and banners. A dot matrix printer is a very old technology. If you look at the picture on the right with the little pins, basically the pins are activated or deactivated according to the letter being printed. And the little pins strike onto an inked ribbon, which then leaves a mark on the paper. And the reason it's still used is that it can easily make a carbon copy. So if you put a double page into the printer, which has carbon on, it will easily print two pages or three pages so that you've automatically got a carbon copy um, for use for bills or invoices. And lastly, we're going to look at speakers and headphones. These are output devices too. Um, the sound produced by a computer depends on two things. There's the sound card, which is it could be on the motherboard and sometimes it's an external card, an extra card which you plug in. And um, also the speakers or headphones. The quality of these two de devices will mean whether you get a good sound or not. The computer can be connected to electronic instruments and play sheet music through them. So if you've got a, a keyboard and you connect it to your computer um, via the MIDI port, you will be able to do this, um, which is really useful. And the computer can also connect to professional mixing boards so that you can control the sound and mixing of sound. This is done in recording studios and in concerts. And there's a headphone jack on your computer and you know that you plug your headphones and speakers into that. And um, MIDI instruments can also plug into the USB port. And that's all for the output devices.